Barcelona. And the reason why I'm leaving so early is because today I'm going somewhere so cool. I've seen this place only on Google and from what I've seen on Google, I'm, I'm speechless. I've been blown away. It's a place outside of Barcelona called Montserrat. The journey is around an hour and a half. So I'm going to take you on my journey with me. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Oh my goodness. Wow. It's snowing as well, guys. It's actually snowing. It's snowing. <laughs> this is how high up we are that it's snowing. In Barcelona, it was sunny, it's here, it's snowing. Welcome to the mountains and monastery of Montserrat. Montserrat is a Catalan name from Latin meaning jagged mountain and has been long regarded as a sacred and magical place. It's 1,236 meters above sea level, so looking down feels like you're floating in the clouds. The Montserrat Monastery is where pilgrims from all over the world come and see the main attraction, the Black Madonna. In the 7th century, Spain was invaded, so a group of citizens took the statue of Black Madonna and hid her in a cave up in the mountains of Montserrat. For 200 years, she stayed hidden. Never forgotten, but nobody knew where she was. 200 years later, shepherd boys saw a beam of light hitting a particular part of the mountain and heard eerie singing coming from that part. They saw this for six Saturdays in a row. They reported this to the priest. A group went out to the part of the mountain where the light was hitting and there she was, the Black Madonna, hidden away in a cave. She was brought back down and a small church was built to house her. 
the monastery and basilica we have today was entirely built just to house the Black Madonna. Every year, millions of pilgrims from all over the world will come, stand in queues just to touch her hand, pray, or even just to take a look at the Black Madonna, who is also known as the Black Virgin of Montserrat. Okay, let's do the two hour hike. We've only got about two hours left. <laughs> Look at this, we're so high up. This is how high up we are. There is snow. Can you imagine how high we are right now? Right, let's make a snowman. of hiking we're almost there wow so that is where we are going we've come all the way from the bottom guys literally you we're so high up you cannot even see the bottom cannot even see the bottom and I'm scared to tilt my camera any lower I don't want to break my phone all the way from the bottom to the top up there this is so insane. All of this, guys, I have seen on Google Images. And now I'm actually here, I'm here. Still, I keep getting distracted. I keep aiming to go there, but I just keep on getting distracted. So I just need to climb up those steps, go around, and go up there. But as you can imagine, I'm so distracted right now. Oh my goodness, if it looks this good on camera, if it looks this good on camera, imagine in real life. What? This literally looks like an image, like a painting, it looks unreal. And we made it up here, going up the steps. Wow, don't trip, I've come this far, I can't be tripping now. sister would have loved this 
We would have had so much fun. Are you having lunch? <laughs> it's, that's a well-deserved lunch, that is. Two hours of blood, sweat and tears. And we finally made it to the top, way! <laughs> this place is insane. I'm sitting on the edge, but trying not to die. This is unreal. I still cannot get over these views. We've come this far, so might as well finish it. It is like I am walking in the clouds. I'm so cool. This is when you know you're officially cool. When you're walking in the clouds. Almost there. I'm now even higher than the point before. It should be quicker going down. So I shall see you at the bottom. This place is now empty and the sun has come out. Look how beautiful it is now that the sun is out. You come to Spain, you must, must, must come to Montserrat. You must. It's an hour and a half outside of Barcelona. Do the two hour hike. For new hikers, it might be a little bit scary because it gets slippery, it gets difficult, it gets very, very, very steep. I saw a lot of people back out. You know, they'd get to certain bits and then they'd turn around and walk back the other way. But no, don't get scared. Battle through it, get to the top because just like anything in life, the journey will be tough, the climb will be tough, but once you get to the top, it is worth it. Ah, oh, these winds have got me crying so badly, but ladies and gents, please do not leave Spain until you've seen Montserrat. Look at this, this is unreal. This is the kind of stuff you see in the movies <laughs> and I'm here living the movie. I saw so many people back out. They would, um, they would get a quarter of the way, some halfway, some even three quarters of the, of the way, three quarters of the way and then they'll back out because some bits did get pretty steep, pretty dangerous, very slippery because as you guys saw, when you get to the top, there's snow, there's ice. I don't even have appropriate footwear, but hey, I didn't come this far to see back out. So beautiful, like a movie scene. Look at that. Look what I've just seen. The bloody cable car. Yo, these guys 
guys told me the cable car is cancelled. Well, actually, the weather was really bad today. Now the weather's better. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to do what I can to get on the cable car so I can show you guys a journey back home on a cable car. If I'm correct, I believe that point there was what I climbed to. From the bottom, from there, all the way to there. I hope you guys are proud of me. It was hard bloody work. <laughs> so, so the cable car trip is a, is unfortunately cancelled, right? Nadia, you were telling me it doesn't they're not running the cable cars. Yeah, they're not running. But, they're but are you, even better though, I ran into this amazing <laughs> Singaporean couple, right? So you got Nadia and Farid. Farid, yeah. you got you can't be camera shy. You got to say hello. Yeah. And they and they very kindly offered to drive me back to Barcelona. <laughs> so this, so this, this this ride is even better than the cable car ride. Yeah. <laughs> music do you guys listen to in, in UK? In UK, we listen to um, everything really. Well, I mean, we have our own um, British music too. We've got British oh, yeah. artists that you might not have heard of. Like uh, Fifth Harmony? Ah, no, they're not British. <laughs> Fifth Harmony are American. <laughs> yeah. Look at these dabbas. Yeah. we're vlogging each other, right? <laughs> Every, everyone's vlogging each other. <laughs> Why are we here? What's so great? Here? So apparently Nadia <laughs> recommend this place. She says it's to be the best, the best churro place, right, Nadia? The best churro yes. place. Oh, yes. So it's uh, it's churro Spanish. Churros, yeah, I think it's from it's here. Spanish, so yeah. so this is a Spanish dessert. Yeah, okay. Is, yeah. So I'm being taken to eat a Spanish dessert by Singaporean people. <laughs> Fried, are you going to show us how it's done? Go on. You just pop in your mouth, too. <laughs> <laughs> 